Well, the first case of the coronavirus are here in the Twin Tiers. I'm joined now by Chemung County Executive Chris Moss. Uh, thank you for joining Thanks us for this me. morning, especially in the midst of this pandemic. Uh, just tell us a little bit about it. You just gave a press conference. Any updates here? Um, Certainly uh, what we try and do once a week every Friday is uh, do a live stream to let the public and let the residents know where we're at in the preparation mode. I mean, uh, we're firing all cylinders right now. I just finished a conference call uh, where the governor's office has indicated the DMVs will be shut down now across the state. Okay. It was by appointment only here in Chemung County, but all they're going to do is online services now. So it's a fluid situation. It continues to change mm -hmm. uh, sometimes by the hour. Uh, these restrictions are being put in place for social distancing purposes. Some folks just aren't getting the message. Um, you know. A gentleman called me two hours ago, very upset that now I'm out of work because the governor said 100% of private sector, mm -hmm. non-essential businesses must close. I mean, it's going to be a hardship down the road. Uh, we're trying to deal with it right now. Primary focus right now mm -hmm. is public health, which yeah. will eventually transition into, you know, financial assistance for the devastation throughout the southern tier, New York, and the country. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, today, uh, Steuben County reporting two cases. There's no cases here in Chemung, but in a matter of days, that could change. Uh, uh, certainly. We have uh, about 30 cases, uh, 30 numbers tests out there that we're waiting to get back. So, I mean, we get those back anytime. So, I mean, when we have a positive, we'll let the public know. It is inevitable, I believe. So, I mean, that's why social distancing here is important. Um, but again, I'd Ask the public not to panic. Remember the children. You really need to talk to the children. Mm -hmm. If you think adults are apprehensive, yeah. kids are really apprehensive right now. So to get them into some type of normalization mm -hmm. day after day until we get back to school is a great yeah. thing to do. What are you hearing a lot? You just mentioned, uh, you know, there's been a lot of anxiety around this. Um, what are you hearing from people in our community when it comes to this? Unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation and a mm -hmm. lot of rumors. I get uh, text messages or calls every day. We heard three people have it and yeah. they're in the aren't it and you're not telling us. That's Look, what we, we yeah. have no reason to hide the information when we get it we have positives, we will let the public know. Uh, you have to remember when you have a positive, it mm -hmm. sets forth a mechanism where we need to know where that person went, what type of events they were mm -hmm. at, uh, who they were hanging out with. So uh, we don't hide that information. As soon as we get it, we have an investigation to do and we'll definitely let the public know. All right, that's important. And of course, you said uh, you've posted the uh, the conference on the county website so people yes. can... Yes, yes. You can go to www.shimoncountynewyork.gov. You can see that. Uh, we also have an icon on there for local restaurants. Look, a lot of our local businesses are going to be hurting. Mm -hmm. uh, their menus are all out there, the, oh, and the ones that are on there are all takeout or delivery. So I'd ask you to, if you can afford to do so, maybe once a week, frequent them because they're going to have a hard time when this is all over yeah. with. All right. Thank you so much, uh, County Executive Chris Moss, joining us. And, of course, our coverage continues after this.